What's up YouTube? This is one of the first Elsu matches I have ever played. I've just recently got him and I don't have that much time to play test him. And this is, yeah, like one of the first approaches that I've ever made with the chief of the sniping rifle. Um, I think Elsu is one of the strongest characters in the game. And I will show you a video today, which is mainly not like pro play gameplay. Uh, I think you will have realized that this is not the right channel for this, but this is going to be some gameplay where you see some, um, I would say like starter stuff that's going on. And I will talk briefly about it as this might just help people who are starting off with Elsu because I had some prob problems in the beginning with him. Because I just have the feeling that Elsu doesn't really play like one of the other AD carries. I think he has a special mechanic going on and this is not only because he's got this crazy ability snipe. But I don't know about you guys, but every time I play Elsu, I just have the feeling that you are standing somewhere, I don't know, in the brush, in the jungle, doesn't really matter. And every time you move, an Elsu hits you. And as soon as you start playing more games with Elsu or against Elsu, you will just start to realize that if you move constantly, one of his biggest threats, which is standing still and aiming and sniping at you, is kind of gone. So this is one of the main things that you should always keep in mind if you're playing against Elsu. You are mobile and you should use your mobility to the very extent because this is what's going to save your life. Um, I found it quite hard to hit with Elsu. Like I thought, man, everyone is just trying to kill me from afar and it's so easy and you just have to aim correctly. And it, you see how much damage he does if he hits. But while he stands still, while he's aiming for the targets, you have the problem that you will face minor to even major damage if the enemy AD carry is able to hit you and this was like one of the one of the moments in the game where I was I would have been able to kill Telenas but I didn't hit the shot right and I don't know about you guys but I've just felt that this is quite common because even if you have the wide range and I tried it against the Thane obviously in the hero trial it was so easy like it was so easy Thane has this kind of movement that you can predict pretty easily but predicting the enemy's movement and predicting your kind of laser beam thing going on if you are standing further and further away I, I just felt it isn't that easy so here's some some tips to kind of maximize the value that you get out of your L2 things. So first things first, and that's something that the crash in this video is going to tell me later. Um, you can capitalize L2 by not only playing the, the rope sniper. So see, she gets me and she hits pretty hard and I miss that skill. So, what you can always do as Elsu, and I think some people will basically just neglect that fact and they won't pay attention to it. But what Elsu is really good at is like, and you can see it here, Elsu is pretty, pretty badass if it comes to normal shots. So use your auto attacks, use your abilities to try to get the enemy and try to fight them. Because that's what you're really good at. Like, I don't, I don't have the comparison in numbers on a sheet or something. But I just felt that Elsu has great damage on his auto attacks. And I, I just felt that his damage output is better than the the Yorn, the Valhine, or um, let's say Talonas. Like Talonas has a higher attack speed, but her base damage seems to be a bit on the downside compared to Elsu. So Always keep in mind that you are a normal AD carry and as a normal AD carry you are able to kite the enemy. You are able to just go by, you're able to hit your shots and you're able to use your normal attacks, like your order attacks, the, the attacks that you hit always on enemies. Use them in your favor, like you're pretty strong and as soon as you get the first and the second item, you become even stronger. So your attack speed isn't that great. Like compared to Talana, she's like bam, 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 bam. She's just 
putting those shots into the enemy, like making use of her high attack speed compared to the crit she's hitting. She's hitting like a truck. But compared to Elsu, that is that is not the case with Elsu because Elsu has a much lower attack speed and his um, his weapon attack is higher. So second second thing, what I would recommend is always time stuff between your shots. So try to aim for the try to aim for that five um, stacks that you have on the bottom so it also has a damage multiplier or modifier that allows you to hit for more damage as soon as you stand still it gives you more damage output so what you should always do is basically walk as i'm doing here so you can see the numbers going up so walk shoot walk shoot walk shoot that's like my my second tip this is your passive and your passive scales every single time you are moving from one place to the other and the, the third um, tip that I've got for you, and it's pretty easy, and you see how I how badly missed, how bad that was. Take your time and aim for your shots. Like, if you're able to, to hit someone with, your, with uh, your two, go for it. And if you're not able to hit someone with your two, don't do it. Like, there's no way that you have to waste your shots. And you can save a lot of mana, because that's something that you will realize if you're spamming these abilities. Elsu is not a mage, like he doesn't have the mana pool to spam his ability over and over again. And as I said, this ability makes you pretty vulnerable. Look at that, like the Wukong had no problem jumping in, killing me and going out again. And that was due to the fact that I was standing still waiting for something to happen, which actually did happen, I was killed. But you should always try to, try to keep in mind that you can kite around just like a normal AD carry. You don't have to be that, I'm just sniping and I'm standing here, dude. Um, the fourth advice that I will have for you is place your minds strategically. So use them not only just for, um, use them not only for uh, getting more damage, because that's something that you have to keep in mind. Every time an enemy is standing on one of your minds, you will do more damage. Um, that is that is just a fact that is passed down by the ability. So that's something that you can actually do. And the second thing would be use them strategically in a way that you can benefit from them. So it is the same with the uh, with the good old Lindis. You can put them in some brushes or something if you are afraid of being ganked. You can put them in a brush if you want to hit the enemy for more damage. You can put them basically everywhere where you can make use of them and that is really really helpful to avoid ganks, to get more damage, to get more vision. Like you can you can put those down on let's say uh, Abyssal Dragon or on the Dark Slayer depending on what time it is in the match. So this is really helpful for you to get something out of the of the mines and it also I don't I don't know but I think it gives your team vision as well so you can always use them in your favor and it's a pretty neat item uh, because Elsa is so strong I don't think that he needs another item or another ability so always capitalize your um, always capitalize your world uh, the third thing that or the third the fourth the fifth thing that I have for you so we're down to number five number five would be use your use your uh, and that was that was like a really good example use your ult not only to get away you can also use your ult to just get a kill or do the last bit of damage that you need to do in order to get the kill. Your ult is pretty versatile, so you can use it for, for different things and that is because of the fact that your cooldown is pretty low. Your cooldown on your ult is less than half a minute. So you can use it every single time you want it, you can escape team fights. You can position yourself in a better way. You can get out of the fray if someone is trying to get you. Look at that, like that was a perfect example. Now he flashes, I don't get him. Oh, I got him. Even, even better 
that looks really great. That that looked like I was actually knowing what I'm doing at that moment. And also is great for getting towers as well. Look at that. That's ace. So these would be my five advices that I have for you if you want to max out Elsa. And that said, like that's just common sense. I'm just I'm just putting those down here because I think it might be helpful for someone because I had the feeling that I struggled a bit with Elsu. Like El I just I just don't like this playstyle of being so slow and I just realized that I don't like to have um, more damage but less attack speed. It, it's just not in my playstyle. Like I really favor uh, Talena. She goes down, she she just pops her one and she's like duck, 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 duck. And she moves and duck, duck, duck. And you can follow up and you can slow and you can stun and stuff like that. I really like her kit. And that said, I don't like Elsu's kit that much, uh, but she, he still hits like a ox. Like he is so strong. And I think you will have Elsu's in your meta over and over again because he is without a doubt without a question one of the strongest mages in the entire game so always keep in mind that you have great attacks so you can use your autos place your minds in a strategic corner where the whole benefit team will benefit from it if you are poking down the abyssal dragon or you're doing something like that it's always pretty helpful. Aim your shots straight. Use them, use them, use them, and practice them, practice them, practice them. Practice makes perfect. And if you hit a shot or you miss a shot, it doesn't matter. There will be another shot. So it is really going out of practice. Use your ult in a way where you are getting out of situations or you are getting into situations. So practice that a little bit. Um, you will see that I had two really bad angles in this game where I was actually not really hitting stuff like I should have hit it. So this is basically, and always stand still, like between, between shots, always try to stand still, always try to benefit from your passive. These are the main advices that I have for you. And if you are keeping that in mind, it might make you a better player on Elsu, and if not, you will also still have the time to practice stuff and it will help you as well, so never mind. And the Beast is one of my recommendations on him as an equipment. Beast makes him so beefy because he has the ability to hit for really high base damage and that makes him so goddamn good. And if you have a nice crash, as I have here in this situation, like the crash was really, really nice, um, you are also able to get damage done and get damage off you because you have a bodyguard who is really helpful for you in situations like these. And you can also, and that is something that many players might not have as a pretty obvious stuff, um, that's the case that you can use your two to get rid of creep waves pretty pretty easily so the minions are no match for you and I'm out look at that like that was that was pretty easy as well I was able to get over that ledge by using my ult and the other players are still not they're trying uh, here they try to get me but i've got my ult already back again so this is how how fast your ult is just cooling down you pretty much have it every time you need it so this is really cool on elsu i mean i like the character uh he's cool he's got his sniping rifle and stuff like that so i really like that that whole um, the whole theme that he flavors, so running around, dealing damage, doing stuff and things like that. So I really, I really appreciate that. It's just, I don't like his kit. Like it's not, it's not fitting my playstyle. I, I don't like AD carries, the, the, I think one of the best AD carries for my playstyle is Talana, so I'm really in love with her. But the rest around Elsu and things like Yorn and stuff like that, it's just not my stuff. Like I don't really like it. and. Something else that you can you can you can use and you can try to, to um, like use for your for your plays is also has this passive where he doesn't only get more damage, which is which is crazy in the first place, but he can also go uh, kind of invisible if he's standing next to rocks or towers, which makes him like look at that, which makes him even worse because Elsu is standing still and then he's just 
blastering stuff, uh, which, for example, Timo does pretty well in the uh, League of Legends um, world dimension. I don't know how to how to how to call it. Realm? Is it a realm? I don't know. Um, is that? But look at that, like that too long. And now I'm back. And my ult is up again. That's so crazy. Telenas, Telenas dies, uh, dies from one of my shots. Like one of my shots, and she is half dead. That's how crazy. That's how crazy your snipe is. Like the other AD carries are just, they just torn apart. They're just wrecked. This is just pretty crazy. And yeah, that's like uh, that's like the game. That's like, there's not, there's not much that they can do because they are basically down to one tower. And I think we are, I think we're even going to get the other tower. So that we are facing, or they are facing like full super minions. I mean, they're doing a good job here on getting the objectives but then on the other hand I would say we did pretty well in getting the objectives and 5-3-10 I'm not even the best Elsa in the world I think it's pretty decent for one of the first games that I have with him um, so you you guys are kind of on a journey um, I don't know if you are aware of that but as I'm pretty new, not new to the game but pretty new to really playing loads of games and really trying to excel with characters and getting better with them you are you are with uh, with me on a journey. It's like a journey that we are having together. Isn't that isn't that great? We are on a journey. We're like a one big family. Uh, and I'm dead. Yeah, here we go. But now Wukong has done something and pushed something, and now a level 15 fully loaded Wukong just comes in. This is so crazy. Bam, bam. Dead. And you always have those people who want to surrender for nothing. It's like we're down to we're down to four towers. They don't even reach our core. Enemies down to one tower, two times core. That's the that's the deal. And someone wants to surrender. How crazy is that? Why why would you ever consider on surrendering in this? In this particular situation, it doesn't make any sense. So I could have skipped the video and uh, forwarded it, but I just, I just think that let that the let the game end, as you guys are not going to watch this till this point anyway. So I don't care. We are we're going through this as well. Look at that clear time for sh for auto attacks. Damn, dead. He is so strong. That's so crazy. AD carry setting up an ambush, acting as a as a bait. That is how we roll. And now we are. I think this is the final push. Supposed to be the final push. I think the I think the equipment is quite decent. So we've got the beast, got the rank breaker. We've got the sonic boots. Um, we've got the eternal blade, and we got Fenrir's, which is which is quite all right. Um, in my latest build, I have started to switch to the attack boots because I think it's just a, they're just in your favor. It's just better if you have this small amount of more attack speed because you are vulnerable anyways. Like you're not going to be the tank just because of those boots. The only thing that those boots help you with is situations where you are fighting against other AD carries. But as your damage output is so high and you've got this massive range you shouldn't be in that fray anyways so and I could score two kills because my team's doing good and I got oh no I didn't get the kill why didn't I get the kill oh she she died and then she was re resurrected okay there we go there we go nothing too spectacular this game is going to be end it with pretty soon uh, but as I said 500 590 uh, almost 590 damage multiplier that you get and oh I don't know what this was it was like a small 
it was like a small lag that I had here. And now I'm hitting the tower for 1000 damage with each single shot and again, and again, and again, and again, and that is it, boys. That was the game. This is Elsu rookie training or how you want to call it. So yeah, um, let's check out the results as we always do in my videos. I'm going to put me here. I'm trying to talk to the camera here. So this is the last bit of the game. We're checking the results, looking how, how well we did. Uh, Wukong was the M with P without any doubt. You can see I'm still in the beginner league. So that was nothing that I lied about. And Look at that, 10, 7, 4, 11, not too shabby, um, at least it was one of the f games that I wanted to show you and look how insanely that damage was, 27%, that is how good this was. So guys, thank you for watching, this was Void of Dust Gaming, stay tuned to my channel, we will see each other on Thursday, bye bye.